somebody to celebrate in the house of God tonight. Mr. Farrell right here, faithful servant of God. Can y'all join us in wishing him happy birthday? Can I get my C chord? playing while we're singing him happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Farrell. Happy birthday to you. Come on, let's celebrate him tonight. Thank you very much. We love you. We appreciate you. But how many of y'all are also thankful for the God that made Farrell? Yes. Has he brought you through yes. so that you're standing here today with joy in your heart, with life in your body. Come on, can we celebrate the Lord tonight? Focus on all the goodness and the mercy and loving kindness that he's shown us. I don't know about y'all, but that gets me excited. Amen. Come on, shout out, I thank, God. I thank God. Let's celebrate tonight. This weary soul, this vagabond. I tried with all my might, but I just can't win the fight. I'm slowly drifting, a vagabond. Come on, and just when I ran out of road, and just when I
Thank you, Jesus. You saved us. You've delivered us. And you will do it again. Hallelujah. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Well, let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Well, he makes a way where there ain't no way. Rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is I know that he can do for you. years and tell the past to disappear oh let me tell you about my jesus and all the wrong turns that you would go and undo if you could who could work it all for your good let me tell you about my jesus he makes a way where there ain't no way rises up from an empty grave And the good news is I know that he can do for you what he's done for me. Let me tell you about my Jesus. And let my Jesus change your life. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 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 about me let me tell you about my jesus oh well he makes a way where there ain't no way he rises up from an empty grave there ain't no sinner that he can save let me tell you about my jesus his love is strong and his grace is free and the good news is i know that he can do for you what he's done Has he been good to you? I said, has he been good to you? Hallelujah. Come on, let's just take a moment to just thank him. Thank him for all that he's done for us. Father, we love you. Father, we are so thankful for Jesus. We're so thankful for this life that we now get to live. We're so thankful for the freedom that Jesus paid the price for, that Jesus bought for us. And so, Father, we will not take that for granted. We will not take that lightly. And we will dedicate our lives to you and to telling folks about you and about what you've done for us. We thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everyone that agrees says a great big amen. Hey, go ahead and just stay standing. All right, I'm not going to take very, very long. Uh, I just want to welcome you tonight and anybody that may be here for the very first time. Tonight is First Wednesday. And what that means is the first Wednesday of every month, we just come together and we do this. We praise and we worship God. That is, that is the agenda 
for tonight. And so if you've never been here before, I'm so thankful. We're so glad that you're here, that you're going to worship God with us. And we are so excited that you're here. If there's anything that we can do for you, we'd love to answer any questions that you may have about the church. There is a card in the seat back that you can grab. It's called the card. You can fill that out. We have a couple places uh, beyond this room that will answer any questions that you have. It's called our Connect uh, our connect points, our connect centers there. Uh, there's one in the foyer. There's one in the lobby. Stop by there after service. Answer any questions you may have. Place a free gift in your hand. And just thank you uh, for coming and being a part of this, of this worship service tonight. And also, if you came prepared to give, you can do that. Uh, once we dismiss from service tonight, the ushers will have containers in the back for you. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I'm just going to, we're going to do what we said we're going to do. And we're going to worship God in this place. Amen. You know, I just want to share this thought with you. I was thinking about just worship and what worship uh, really means to me. And you know, I did have this thought, worship is not about me. You know, and worship is not, it, the primary focus of worship is not about you and it's not about me. Okay, now don't get me wrong. There are certainly things that we benefit when it comes to worship. We are definitely beneficiaries, if you will, of worship. But what worship really is, is just focusing on Jesus. It's a selfless love. It's a selfless act of love to the Father about all that he's done for us. So I know there's people in this room. I know you have needs. I know there's things that you are believing God for, and God knows that, and God sees that. But how about just for a little bit, we just take our focus off of that need. We put our focus on God and watch what happens when you put your focus on God. I promise you those needs are going to be met because that's what it says in his word. So take the focus off of the things that you're believing God for. Put your focus on God tonight and let God move. Let God work in your life because what you're doing is you are just giving him all the focus, all the attention, all the love because he's worthy. We just got finished talking about all these great, incredible things that he's done for us. All right, and if he's done those things for you in your life, I promise you, he's gonna do everything for you. There's nothing that he's not going to do for you in your life. So focus on him, put all the attention on him tonight, simply because he's worthy of it. And watch God move and work in your life as a result of that, amen? So I'm gonna have the team come back up and let's just close our eyes in this place. Maybe that's all you're comfortable with and that's okay. If you're comfortable with lifting your hands, let's just lift our hands in this place tonight. And so, Father, we just, we come before you and we worship you in this place because you're worthy of it. Father, we're so thankful for all the things that you've done in our lives. We're so thankful for the love that you've freely given us. Even when we didn't deserve it, you freely gave it to us. And we are so thankful for that. And for that, we will worship you. We will draw near to you in this place tonight. And Father, we just thank you for a night of powerful worship, of just being in your presence and just focusing on you in this place. We love you, Father. And we declare all of this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Oh, we will bless your name. this worship night with just a song from our own heart. I love quoting Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Can we just sing that to him? Just that phrase. Oh, I will bless you, Lord. Oh, I bless you, Lord, with all that is within me. I will bless your holy name. I will forget not your benefits, oh, no. For you've healed me from all sickness and disease. Yes, you have. Oh, you've crowned me with loving kindness. Yes, you have tender mercies. My strength is renewed like the eagles because of you, love. And the life you bring, you are the source, you are the source. For 
about you, Lord, how you saved me, how you raised me, how you filled me with your Holy Ghost, how you healed me to the uttermost. When I think about you, Lord, how you picked me up and turned me around, how you placed my feet on solid ground. When I think about you, Lord, how you saved me, how you raised me, how you filled me with your Holy Ghost, how you healed me to the uttermost. When I think about you, Lord, how you picked me up and turned me around, how you placed my feet on solid ground. Turn me around How you place my feet On solid ground It makes me want to shout Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It makes me want to shout. Hey! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It makes me want to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It makes me want to shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It makes me want to shout, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise it makes me 
wanna shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise it makes me wanna shout hallelujah been so good thank to you. you jesus lord you're worthy what i should have been dead Give you all. 
For from you are all things, and to you are all things, for you deserve the glory. You are worthy, you are worthy of it all.
praise you again and again.
My mentors, Dr. Lester Summerall. I was in a meeting with him one time in a church, and the presence of God was like this. And he leaned over to me and he said, This. He said, No devil in hell can stand in this presence. Listen, listen to me. The enemy, John and I were talking about this at lunch today. The enemy is messing with our minds. We've got to clear our minds because there's so much information, so much coming in, and so much garbage. This is how you clear the mechanism. This is how you clear up because if you notice, you, you, if you got over into worship, you weren't thinking about all that stuff. But see, listen, you've got to do it beyond just this place. And some of you, maybe you're being tormented in your mind. Maybe you're struggling mentally in, in, in some areas with your mind. I want to tell you, listen to me. Listen to this. 
No devil in hell can stand in the presence of God. The devil has been kicked out of the presence of God. He has nothing to do with the presence of God any longer. And any time you keep going back and thinking and back in worship, back in thinking, it's the enemy trying to, to, to disrupt you. But listen to me, he can't do it. He can't do it. You just keep yourself, keep yourself in that place of worship. And listen, it'll start clearing your mind up. It doesn't have to be at church. It doesn't have to be under the uh, the. With, with, the, with the church here, it can be by yourself. But you've got to clear that and let the Holy Spirit do something fresh on the inside of you. And listen, I, I'm just going to say this, and I, pro, I feel like I need to, to, to pray for you if this is you. But I feel like some of you, have, have, you were singing tonight, but you're totally blocked from real worship. It's coming out of here, but it's not, it's not coming out of here. It's like there's a block. Now listen, you can do one of two things. You can live with that, or you can release it. It's your choice. And you know, those of you that I'm talking to, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's easy to sing the songs and be inspired by the songs in your soul, but it's another when your spirit takes over. If that's you tonight, I want you to come up here right now. You might as well just set yourself loose today if that's you tonight. Come up here right now. Come. If, you, if that's you, come up here. It's not a hard process. And, and I, I can tell you right now, listen. Some of you are hiding behind it. Maybe you don't want people to know. It doesn't matter who knows. What mat listen, what matters is that you are released, that God releases you tonight so that that won't, be, that won't be part of your life anymore. It won't be part of your life anymore. Farrell, I want to go back to that song that you were singing. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing this again, and I'm going to lay hands on these the Holy Spirit is going to break that now listen it's going to break that but you've got to protect it how do you do that worship worship anyone else come on come on sweetie come on up here hallelujah hallelujah thank you my father thank you father Thank you, Father. I worship you, I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, Father. That, that anointing's already fallen on you. The presence of God is already working. It's working. It's working. Anyone else? Hallelujah. Don't you get 
Father, we bless you tonight. Lord, we thank you for this small, simple season of worship. We glorify you. We thank you for working in our midst. Father, I thank you. I thank you that there are forerunners. There are forerunners. Your Spirit's running ahead to declare, to declare your goodness that we might walk in the fullness of it. We glorify you tonight. We praise you tonight. Thank you for your working in all our lives. We magnify you and we pray. Father, I pray right now for boldness for the body of Christ. Boldness in Jesus' name. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand. Glad you came to church. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for tonight. Thank you for your mighty working. We thank you for your blessings upon your people who chose to worship you tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Turn around and hug somebody if you dare. Tell them that you love them. Amen.